What is it with nitroglycerin before you look at the seven day? Uh, let's get to it. As we look out there tonight, it is uh, dark and we're starting to eliminate a few of the clouds, but boy, has that allowed the temperatures to drop 38 degrees and going down feels like 31 because that breeze is still out there at 10 miles an hour. Any amount of wind will always subtract from the temperature, never does add to it. Look at this, already hitting the freezing mark in Olean, below that in Bradford. Now these are the winds as they kind of meander. They're a little bit less down in the southern tier, but even still, these numbers are uh, more winter-like as we switch these to the wind chills, those even dropped colder. Now, this is what we've got as far as precipitation. We do have one thing going for us with those clear skies. We're sending all the lake effect down to this end of the lake. It's all Syracuse. They're going to get a rain snow mix through the overnight. We will not. We will have a very chilly beginning at the bus stop. Temperatures will bottom out about 35 degrees. Lake shores a little bit warmer. Inland, you're going to see the upper 20s. It's a D plus as we begin the day, but at least there's no precipitation. So dress the kids for the cold, not for the uh, not for the snow. 45 in the afternoon tomorrow. It's going to feel like a party. The sun with light winds, the 40s. Imagine that. And uh, we go all the way through the day without precipitation. Haven't been able to say that in a while. And then come Friday, the clouds will come back. This is the morning. Don't worry. You see a few clouds out there. They will go away. By the afternoon, things will be a lot brighter. And if you have some plans for the evening, we lose the sunlight now close to 6 o'clock. But that's about when we'll see the most clearing skies. These are the next round of clouds. They come streaming in overnight. And this guy is what's coming in for the weekend. Right now, Friday looks dry. But boy, is it going to be a close call as this comes in very late in the evening. Then this sets up near the coast. A lot of wind, a lot of rain, and even some snow. Back here in Buffalo on Saturday, not a pretty day. We're going to get stuck with snow, uh, rain, and then the snow gets close. Toronto stays just north of Lake Ontario. We're hoping that's where it stays. We're watching it closely for you. We're going to update you all the way up until that event, and then during that over the weekend as well. 50 will feel like a party, even with the clouds. And then come the second half of the weekend, it's a rain snow mix overnight. Did I say that with a positive? It's a inflection? rain. Does it yeah, make that it was better? very nice. Uh, let's hope we take home a W because that would salvage the weekend. And look at that Halloween 45. Not so bad. Very Looks seasonal. Nice. Looks good. Yeah, that's manageable. You can, you know, maybe just put a, a light sweater underneath right. your ghost costume. And I hope we didn't Any hurt costume. anybody's hearts Heart? with that forecast. <laughs> rain snow mix. Sorry, I just wanted to say it again. Very All right, Monday night, Thurman Thomas joins only two other players to have their number retired by the Buffalo Bills.